Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Wednesday. It's September 5th. This will be our chart lesson for the day, and it was an interesting day. It was another day where we had a lot of volume and a lot of movement, but prices didn't really go anywhere. Uh, we closed yesterday at 2898. Right at the 2900 is basically what we're testing. And today we closed. Uh, looks like we closed at 2889. So few points down really but we had a big move down and then we had a move up uh, there's two bigger channels here there's a big one here and then there's a larger one working up and they don't really help you prices don't come back to them enough to really help you so you really still needed to use your short-term stuff in here and you can see I got lots of short-term because it was just jumping all over the place in general, you can trade this both ways when it's like this. If it's going back and forth above and below the EMA like it is here, once we started going higher here, you want to kind of stay to the long side until, you know, until you determine that prices are like they've played out to one way. Like here, you've got a channel coming up, you get a close outside, a move, and then you've got a reversal here. So you would think you were coming back down. It still ends up moving to the upper side, but at that point, you don't really this channel's not really confirmed or anything. Uh, we do have three touches down here, but you haven't had any touches up here other than you figure it's going to be somewhere right in here. And that is where it ends up turning down right here. But you have to, you know, that's your first two swings up there, really. And then now you're working back down the other side. So the, the bigger channels just didn't really help you. On this one, you never really come back to it and get a trade. We come up short here, then we come back and we shoot right through it. So not a lot of help really to you. Um, so again, you probably had to use your short term stuff, but let's back out, talk about the trades and we'll move on. Um, the, the good thing about today was you did have a nice long right out of the gate this morning. You had a channel coming down, you got to close outside and you tried to go short and you end up getting a little reversal pattern here. Um, you actually had a failed second entry short way up here, but it, being that far away from the EMA, uh, with a possible trend channel line up here. You don't want to go long into that. Let it work its way back and see if this trend line confirms. And it does. And even though it looks like it, we're really trending lower here, this is really more sideways and a little drop lower, more than it is a trend line in my opinion. Um, this is a double top, so you get a first entry pullback. And so you can treat this like a second entry. And it actually went lower and turned and went out the other side. So you could have gone long one tick above this bar, or you could have waited on this one to close and gone one tick above, gone long one tick above it, or you could have let prices break higher above this bar on this bar and then drop the limit order back here to see if you could get a little better entry. Either way, you still had enough to get out here, and it doesn't matter. This thing takes off, and you know it's good for it's good for three or four points probably. And so right out of the gate, that's a fairly nice. Um, trade you got there. There's a higher low here, but it's right into these highs. And so I'm not going to risk that one. It, you do have two legs up. Generally, I would tell you, you wouldn't probably want to go short on an upward trend, but we've been back and forth above and below the EMA. And this looks to be a range day kind of at this point, because here's your overnight higher, here's your overnight low, and we're kind of trading in the middle. So being that far away from the EMA after two measured legs up and two legs up here, uh, with that big bearish bar, you'd probably risk it to come back to the EMA and the trend line, see if you get another setup. Of course, it pushes right on through, so you get your close outside. So now if you make a new high, it'll probably reverse. Notice that it does get a close outside, two legs up. You don't really get a good chance to go long here. This is just too much congestion, too much sideways stuff. And you get a higher low here, then it's another little congestion pattern couple of dojis, four or five bars stacked up sideways. I'm going to stay out of that. Uh, but it, it, you do break out. And so here you would expect prices to pull back and test this and probably come back to the EMA at a minimum. And we may turn back down again because this is played out over here. So, okay, I had a slight interruption there. We were talking about this trade. Uh, generally, I'd prefer to wait on a lower high. So, you, you, you know, this could almost be... You could almost argue for this to be green because uh, 
but we're still a little bit away from the EMA, and I would expect Florida at a minimum to come back and test this, and I'd probably expect it to come back and test the EMA, especially with the break and two legs up. So, um, and this is turning down after just barely moving higher here. So that's a good spot for a reversal to happen. Uh, again, you, you really want to wait on the lower high. And this is a great lower high because look how it moves down. There's that gap over the EMA. Um, you know, I talk about prices gapping over these these support resistance levels all the time. And it gaps over that one, moves on down. So this is moving down fairly strongly and then pulls back. It's not a perfect reversal because it's just the first entry here, counting off the, you know, if you're, it's a first entry. But still, after a big move that far down and it pulls back and tests the EMA perfectly, gives you a relatively bearish bar. Just go short there and look for a measured leg down at a minimum. Um, and that's, so that's the better place to enter. Again, you could argue for that first one to be green. I'm going to leave it red. Uh, and you can see a measured leg puts you down to here. And we went a little bit further than we bounce. Notice you got a little trend line working up here. Break outside, new high. I would have liked going short here, except it pushed through that EMA. And I was too afraid you'd get a failed second entry short and push on up. I wasn't sure if the swing should go right here. Uh, there's obviously a short term one here, but there could be another swing right here. And I was just a little bit leery of that one after this was the first break of this trend line so there's a good chance we may try to test the low as well um, but irregardless and this actually gaps right there um, gaps up and so you would expect it to try to fill that gap so it may just tick down fill that little gap and then bounce again and give you a second leg up um, so I was a little leery of that one, but, uh, the, you could almost argue for that to be sideways and a little failed break higher, but again, being above that EMA with that little gap over, cause you, generally when it gaps over, that's fairly strong and really it's probably just gapping over the EMA again there. Um, so, you know, you really could argue for that to be green. I'll make it green all the same. Well, that's not hardly green, is it? Okay, and uh, but your lower high comes here, and this is very similar. This is almost a repeat pattern. Notice how you shoot down real quick, and then you try to come higher. There's a little more congestion here, but there's also a second entry short here. Notice that low, and you get a first entry. You come back, you get a higher low with a second entry right there. And really what was happening here was this midline was holding prices. They couldn't push back through, and it couldn't break higher. So that's... You know, and it, it is making lower lows here. And notice how the closes are getting lower each time. That's a good sign that we will probably push down. And, I, and again, I would look for a minimum of a measured leg right here. You can see that was almost a measured leg from that other one. But I'd look for a measured leg there at a minimum. But I'd also measure this whole leg here. And due to the fact that there's a two-legged correction right here and look for a measured leg down from there and that puts you down in here as well so that was two different ways i would look at it so it gives you some targets on down here and this thing the bottom just falls on out of it and it bounces um, right down here off the lows um, originally i had this a little bit steeper and it, it didn't quite touch so i corrected this because uh, likely this lower side the line's coming across there and you can kind of see it dancing down that line so i corrected that just till i made this just a little steeper and then corrected it up here as well and we get a nice bounce there you're a long way away from the ema and you did have a close outside and a new low but it's very possible at this point that you got a a two-tier channel working down you see how that really fits in there fairly nicely so you had to be careful going long down here. Uh, we are a long way away from the EMA. If it hadn't have overlapped there, two or three bars, I'd, and you had a nice bullish bar, I'd say go for it. But I'd probably here you want to wait on a higher low, and you don't really get one. It just shoots right on through, comes back, and you, you don't get a higher low till here. But now you're working back down. You do the, you do get a close outside on this one. You try to go lower once, you try to go lower twice, and it fails, and you get this big reversal bar. 
So you may go along, buy, put a buy stop right there. Normally I would probably make this blue with all that support across there because you got a low and you tested it once, you tested it twice, but there's so much overlap, just bar stacked up there. It is congestive too, but this one makes a little lower low and a big bullish bar. And you actually could have let it broke high, wait till it breaks higher and dropped a limit order and gotten filled. You could have gotten filled all the way back to here really. And then it takes off, but this one just feels a little congestive, although you do have your break and a new low. And the problem too was here that you this was you did have a break here, but if this is two tiered, you may it may try to make a new low here. And and we did come off the midline, so you would expect prices to try to come down here. So going long there is just a little bit, especially into the EMA, it's just a little bit questionable. Um, but there's some reasons to like it too, so that's the reason I'm going to give it green. Because that's a nice ride back up, and of course now you got a you can see that channel working up. It's holding prices neatly on both sides. You get a break, you get a higher low here on a second entry long, go long right there. And at this point, I was looking for prices to come back up here. Uh, it didn't happen, but you get a nice scalp out of that. And notice how it gapped over the midline right there. Uh, it's it's just amazing how often you see that, quite often. But um, it makes a new high and then it sells off and now you got one working down you get a close outside and new low this is a uh failed second entry long here so it's i kind of like that to the short side i didn't mark it because look how sideways it is and there's stems on both sides so it's a little bit congestive it's right at the ema we're kind of you know we're just kind of stuck going sideways again here and it is right into these lows across here. There's, I don't have a line there, but there's, there's some support right across there, as you can see there. And so that's a little bit questionable as well. So I didn't mark that one. Uh, turns out it's a nice move, but you know we're not mind readers, and if it, you know if the setup doesn't really fit our criteria, we probably just want to skip it. Anytime you're not 100% sure, uh, no trade is the right trade. So. Uh, there are some other reasons to, there's some reasons to actually be thinking long here. Um, there's a double bottom and then look at all that support right there. But if you went long, you'd have got burned long too. Um, so this just wasn't, but of course with that trend line working down and that being the first close outside really, you'd, you'd probably want to wait and let it try to make a new low anyway. So on the short, so I mean on the, um, before going long, so. Uh, if you did go along there, you got burned. Drops out. If you'd got a nice strong signal bar here, uh, it probably would have been worth trying to ride it back to for the retest or for to the EMA. And plus, we hadn't made it to the high yet, but you don't get any setup there. It runs up and it still comes up short and sells off. And you got a little trend line working there. This is the first close outside, but of course it runs down here, and you never really make a new high there. And then you get a close outside a new low. You get a higher low here. Not a very good setup. And then there's your reversal. It pushes on through the EMA, pulls back. Um, so when it breaks above those that bar right there, I like going long. And this time, hopefully, you're going to get back to here. And who knows, it may go higher. Um, I would expect it to at least try to get back to this trend line. But of course, it pushes on through, pulls back, and just keeps going higher. Of course, you got this trend line, this shorter term when the working up, that's your first break. Comes down, tries to uh, go lower again, and gives you a uh, double bottom and a second entry long. And there's a, this is basically a new swing low because there was a little bit of a swing right there when it came back. Uh, it's not a perfect, I mean, it's, it's, you know, you're stretching it a little bit, but it is still, an, you still could look at that as a new swing low. So you could look at this as a first failed, a failed second entry short right there and actually try to go long right there. But it's, it's, um, I'd want, I'd want to wait and see if you get another, a little better entry than that. And when this makes, this is actually a second entry long here too, but you're not back to the EMA. You're not back to the midline. Um, so, but when it comes back again, and this is a double top, so that's like a new high. So there's a second entry long. 
um, a double bottom, a double test of uh, coming back to here. Now you're back to the EMA. That's a big bullish bar. So you may go long right there. It's not a great, it's not a perfect setup, but you would expect prices to try to make a new high. And guess what here too? Uh, you could just move up and go one tick higher and make that new high and turn down. But at this point, I really thought prices would probably try to make a measured move up here because this was looking like a midline. Uh, and we ended up getting up there, but we had to come back again and get a little more momentum. Uh, we were really having a hard time. Prices were just, this was so, it just felt like prices were so indecisive. You know, we moved down and then we chopped around, we moved up, we chopped around, we moved down, we chopped around a little bit, we moved up. And now we're starting to really move higher and make higher highs and higher lows. But then you get a close outside, move to a new high, you make a double top. Um, a lower high here that broke higher first and went down. Uh, I don't know if I would probably put a sell stop right there. This is a failed second entry long though. And you do have a little trend line working down. And it's a little, you know, this is a little bit sideways. So it's like a little breakout pullback short as well. So I like that trade. Uh, but I wouldn't have a problem really just waiting on this bar to close. And either putting a sell stop right there or letting it break lower and dropping a limit order back and see if you get a little better feel. And you could have got filled all the way back up here, you know, two or three ticks from the top of this bar and it turns down again, but notice how it uh, turns back down. And once again, you're still not getting outside that. No, we still haven't had a close outside that trend line. So I like, uh, and this is a double top. So you can count that as a new high. So you, again, you can consider that a failed second entry long. Um, Big bearish bar, it does gap right there, again, right around the EMA. So you may not could have got in that trade, but if you were already in this one, you could add on here, and if you weren't in, I would try to get in here. Uh, whether or not you'd have been able to get in that trade, that's questionable, but um, I would try. And if I could add on, I wouldn't have a problem adding on there either. And uh, now it bounces again. You don't get a, really get a close outside and a new low here. It just bounces. Um, the midline kind of takes over there and it's heading up and you just don't really get a chance to get in back to the upside, but notice you get a close outside that little tight channel. And this is actually a little bit tighter here and you get a close outside there, move to a new high and it pushes right through the MA, pulls back, gives you a fairly bearish bar. I, I like going short there. Just, just looking to ride it back to here at a minimum, but it may come all the way back down to the low side. And we could try to move all the way back down and make a new low from the bigger two-tiered channel that we're just now closing outside. Uh, unfortunately, it bounces off the midline again. Again, you got a short-term trend working up. And you try to go lower once. You try to go lower twice. You get a failed second entry short. And... Um, That's your first close outside. So you would expect this to make a new high. And I really was expecting that we may try to push back up here, but being how this kind of day was, we didn't, we just went lower again. So it was just kind of an odd day because generally when you come off the high, you would expect it to go to the low, which it does to the midline. But since it came off the midline, you'd expect it to maybe try to go to the high again. It doesn't surprise me that we got a bounce off the midline, but usually it'll be a weak bounce and then we'll push on back through and then maybe come test it from the underside but that didn't happen. So um, I really thought, well, we'll probably go back up to the high again, but we make a new high and we turn down. And that's tempting, but I'd wait on a lower high here because we may, you may get trapped and it go higher. And that really got you into the two o'clock hour. You just didn't get another chance at anything. So uh, there's actually a short term trend line coming down through here. That's your first break. And by that time it's into the two o'clock hour. So. Interesting day, uh, very similar to yesterday. You know, these days are not easy to trade because there's a lot of volatility and you get big trends and then it reverses and you get big trends and then reverses and big trends down, big trends up, big trend trends down. And the bigger two tier channels don't help you a whole lot. Now you did get a little bit of play off this midline here. So, but other than that, you don't get much off the trend line down here. You don't get much off the trend channel line. Same thing here. You don't get anything off the trend line. You don't get much off the trend channel line. So even though they maybe keep you in the right direction, they didn't, they didn't give you any 
real good entries off those key entry points. So you just had to narrow down into this smaller stuff. So anyway, I'm not going to beat around the bush with it for today. I had a long chart lesson yesterday, and this one's just, uh, I mean, again, there's plenty of trades here. For so much volatility and movement, there's not as many trades as you might expect. But there's more than enough good trades here to find you a couple of three winning trades a day. Again, you had to be a little bit patient. You had to wait some, you know, a few times. This was a pretty good downtrend. And this was a great setup early. So if you, you know, if you're trading early, you might have been done early. So this is where it kind of got slow in the afternoon. You got a few longs and you got a few shorts up here. And otherwise, you're just kind of watching prices move around. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. We'll be back again tomorrow to wrap up our week. Tomorrow's Thursday already. Believe it or not. Wow. I can't believe the week's almost over. But uh, it was a short week. No trading Monday. But uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.